What's up, guys, and welcome back to some more Five Nights at Freddy's Killer in Purple. As you guys know, in the last video, we hopped into the game and we just got the brand new ending for the game that revealed that there is now a Killer in Purple 2 in the works. And that's super exciting. If you guys haven't checked out the video, you definitely want to do so because the trailer for that looks awesome and I'm really excited for it. And the developer might have emailed me some new info on the second game, which I'm going to save for another video because this one's going to be packed with a ton of content already. So if you guys are excited for another video on this game, probably the finale because I don't know what else we can really do in this game after that. But if you guys are excited, you guys want another video on this game, we're going to set a new like goal, okay? Last like goal was 5,000. The one after that was 7,500. So we're going to have to keep going up, all right? You guys are getting too crazy with the likes, all right? So 10,000 likes on this video, all right? I think we can easily crush that. And uh, hey, smash like, let's crush that, and let's get it out of the way. And of course, while you're down there, get subscribed to the channel if you're looking for more FNAF content like this because we have been getting a ton of new subscribers, and uh, it's been pretty cool. And actually, on YouTube now, it shows me how long you guys have been subscribed for. And some people say like one day, one week, three months, five years was like the longest one I found. So it's really, really cool that they added that feature. So yeah, some of the newer subscribers, I'm gonna be hard in your comments, you know, welcoming you guys to the community and stuff like that because I've been getting a lot. So anyways, let's go ahead and press play and hop into this. now. Before we do that, actually, I do have the email right here in front of me, and we're going to go and read what he says here. So he says, um, also, okay, so he says a bunch of stuff in the email, but I'm going to get to, like, the stuff that, you know, we want to do in this video. So he says, to get to the Scott Cawthon fight, press the red phone in the FNAF 1 office five times. You can do this either by buying the back door or ghosting. Okay, so we want to do the Scott Cawthon fight. You guys said you want to see me play as Scott Cawthon against Scott Cawthon. So we're going to be doing that, and I just noticed my save was reset for some reason. What the? I wanted to do that. I just noticed that. Yeah, look, everything is reset. Even my score and everything. That's super weird. Did I start the... Oh, I think I started the wrong version of the game. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I reset my game, and now we're back. And there's some really creepy opera music playing in the background now. I don't know what's going on. It's kind of spooking me a little bit, though. It's kind of scary, but we're going to go ahead and just ignore that. And we're going to make sure that we have purchased everything on here. Okay, everything has been purchased. We're back to normal. Let's go ahead and press play, though, and hop in as Anim Dude Scott Coffin and see if we can get to this boss fight. So he said some other stuff in the email, too. That's why I said this video is going to be pretty action packed because we got a lot to do. And uh, that next video, I'm thinking we're going to try to lure the entire pizzeria into one room and try to defend, like, use the children to, to defend us against the guards, the policemen. That's going to be like the finale. Alley and uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be a lot of fun for the fa for the final video. All right, so it says right here, um, so we have to do the Scott Cawthon fight by ghosting into the room and pressing the office phone five times. Now, there's also two things I forgot to mention in the old email. The back room exit simulation upgrade actually is the same upgrade as the alarm clock. So he changed the name of that to where, you know, that's just the for the new ending of the game. So there's nothing new with the whole exit simulation, which we did in the last video anyways. And then he says, in the pit spring money world, when you jump into the pit, there is a secret somewhere hiding for you, which is not the QR code. So yeah, that's, I, I told you guys, all right, this is going to be fun. This is going to be a fun video because we've got a lot to do. All right, let's go ahead and press play and get back into this. All right, so we've got to go into ghost mode and just fly over here through the map. Wait, what's that? Oh yeah, that's sister location. Okay, that still creeps me out. He did say in the email that apparently if I use the pit spring money Easter egg by pressing on Daco's picture, if you're playing as Pittsburgh money, he just won't be here. Like, you'll be him, and he won't be here. So, yeah, as much as I wanted to do that and see what happens, well, he kind of told me. He was like, yeah, bro, unfortunately, uh, nothing's going to happen there. Which, this confuses me, though. What's this right here? This, like, vent thing out? I don't know what this is. I, I don't remember if we've done this before, but it, it stands out to me because I, I don't remember it at all. It's super weird. All right, so anyways, let's go ahead and go to the... Okay, here we are right here. We're inside the office. So, wait, since I'm Scott Cawthon... Oh, wait. Usually, this is blocked off with Scott in the room... And he's just like, you know, tapping his leg on the on the table right here. But since I'm Scott, I guess he's not here anymore. All right, let's see what happens if we tap the phone five times. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. And here we go. Wait, evil Scott Cawthon. Wait a minute. What? I'm Scott. Is there... Is he going to be... Oh, okay. So this is just the red version of Scott. But wait a minute. Okay, wait, 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 wait. No, go in ghost mode. Back up, back up, back up. Okay, guys, comment down below. I don't remember. Was he always red? Because I remember he started off in that, like, red form at the door, but I don't remember him actually being red. I could be wrong, but guys, comment down below. Let me know, but I, I, don't, I don't remember this being how the boss fight went, but maybe because I'm playing as... Oh, no, he's going to... Oh, my God, he gets really close. But maybe because I'm playing as him, now I, we're, like, the same. I, you know, he has to be, like, the red version of me. Okay, we're going to unghost, and we're going to start fighting this guy. All right, we're going to hit him once and run. Hit him once and run. All right, look at this in third person. Oh, my God, imagine you see this guy coming after you. That is a terrifying way to go out. All right, a giant blue blocky man just coming up to you with his knife. 
I mean, I mean, I'd rather him use the knife on me than those giant block hands, because that would hurt, man. He just crushes you with those. Like, that's terrifying. Okay, we got another hit. We got another hit. Run, 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 run. I think, th yeah, these tables are, you, you can still go right through the tables. I don't know why that is, but it's a feature. All right, guys, I don't know why, though. I mean, I'm not even in ghost mode. So, yeah, this is super weird. Okay, I'm gonna hit him again. Look at that. I, I can hit him from, from so far away as this guy. All right, so I really want to know, though, if we ghost around, I wonder if he's added anything new. Because the fact that he's he knows that we would do this, he, he might have added another secret, but I feel like if he did, he probably would have told me in the email. He said, by the way, Eleanor is not supposed to be out here. He's going to be taking her out, I guess, in a, in a future update, which, I, I mean, who knows? He might add something new with that one, too, so we might have to hop back on this. Okay, where is he? Dude, this music is sold out. Where is he? What? Oh, there he is. This guy's teleporting. Oh, my God. Oh, he's really fast. Wait, can he even hit me when I'm in ghost mode? I don't know. I'm going to test it. Oh, this could be a bad idea. I'm going to test it. Oh, he can't even hit me. Dude, I'm OP. I'm literally... Okay, I mean, it makes sense. I'm Scott Cawthon, but dude, I'm actually OP. Okay, follow me this way. Oh, my God. I'm going to hit him again. All right, let's bring him around the map a little bit. Let's see if anything... Because I thought these doors used to be locked, but now they're all open. Wait, what about that? Uh, this thing right here? What is this? This must be an e exit point for FNAF 2. I think this is, I think that is what it is. Like you buy it from the shop and then, okay, I got to hit this guy. You buy it from the shop and then you can actually use that to like escape. But I don't know how. I thought we've tried walking up to it and it didn't do anything. We'd have to test that again as like Pit Spring Bonnie or something. All right, come here, bro. I already got my attack back up. Yeah, he literally, oh, look, this is the door that's locked. Okay, I want to see. Huh. Wait, it, can I open this door at all? Oh, let me see. I'm not in ghost mode anymore. No, you can't. Wait a minute. Can I go... Ooh, wait a minute. Let's go into sister location. We're not supposed to be able to go down here. But since we have ghost mode now, we can. Dude, imagine you come down here just a giant pit spring bonnie boss fight or something. Oh my god. Wait, there's oh dude, this is creepy. Oh, this is creepy down here. This is so creepy. Oh my if there's something down here. That is, oh no, this is this is too dark. No, I'm scared of the dark. This is way too dark, guys. All right, hold on. Let me go in here. I want to go into the scooping room. Oh my, dude, it's so dark down here. That's so creepy. Oh my God, wait, what the? Oh, that's Funtime Freddy. Okay, yeah, that scared me for a second. I'm like, who is that? That's got to be Funtime Freddy. Okay, let's go back up to the top. All right, I don't like, I don't like being down there. It, it's way too spooky down there. <laughs> Why are the lights off down there? You would think they would have stayed on because like we're up top fighting So like, okay, I'm not gonna question it. We're just gonna go back We're just gonna be happy that you know, I don't have to go down there anymore Okay, I'm gonna be happy that I'm back up here and I'm, I'm fighting Scott Cawthon So back outside we go. Let's go and ghost over to here I I'm just gonna stay ghosted. Let's just defeat him I want to see if anything happens when you actually defeat him now that he's evil Scott Cawthon Because I don't remember him being evil Scott Cawthon. I remember him just being Scott Cawthon Actually, no, I remember for sure as a fact he was he was just blue before because I remember the thumbnail I made with Dreadbear. Remember when we fought him as Dreadbear? He was blue. So, yeah, maybe there is something here that could happen. I don't know. Let's see. I mean, this fight always takes a while because... Okay, he's literally inside. Bro, back up off me, bro. I want to fly all the way out to those, though. <laughs> I want to know what happened. Like, imagine you, you fly out to one of them and you get to play as, like, a gigantic animatronic. And you get to, like, destroy the pizzeria. That would be the ultimate finale. <laughs> you get to play as, like, a gigantic pit bonnie or a gigantic vanny and you just get to like go through like godzilla and just destroy the whole pizzeria <laughs> that would be completely random okay we got 40 more health back all right i'm gonna go out of ghost mode wait no i need oh no 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 wait if i do this i need to make sure he's further away okay wait i'm stuck i'm stuck no go go, go. okay okay we're back we're back all right we're gonna do it in third person because oh no 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 oh my god dude if he hits you ones i think it's like half your health let me see how much is it oh my god no i, I really don't want him to hit me oh my yeah it's half my health nope i'm staying in ghost mode I'm staying in ghost mode. I'm not risking it. Look, bro, you can't do nothing to me. I'm literally a ghost. I am you, all right? And you cannot fight me because I am you. Only I can fight you. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but that's what it means. All right, let's hit him again. 25 more health. So what is that, like five more hits, I think? Because I think we do five uh, points per hit, I'm pretty sure. And then after this, we're going to go into the ball pit and look around for that pit Bonnie uh, Easter egg, which I don't know. That must be new because he would have told me if I didn't find it in the last update. So I'm wondering what that's going to be. But that's going to be pretty exciting, whatever it is. Okay, hit him again. Hit him again. Come on. Hit him again. There we go. All right. Three more hits, and then we're done with this guy. We're done with this bozo, which... <laughs> what is a bozo? I don't know. <laughs> I've never actually looked that word up. I've heard it in, like, movies and stuff. But what what is a bozo? Is that just, like, someone who's, like, funny looking or something? I don't know what that is. Okay, we hit him again. Two more hits. Two more hits. What if I go into the... Wait. It's Pit Bonnie. No! <gasps> I thought I was already... at the. Oh. Wait. What? How... Oh, that's what I lost to. I thought I lost to Scott Cawthon. Okay, well, great. Just, there goes that. <laughs> I thought I lost to Scott Cawthon. I got inside the ball pit somehow. Okay, well, I mean, I guess it's time to look for that Easter egg. 
All right, so where could this be? Dang it, I want to see what would happen. If anything, I'll beat that by my in my own time. Or I'll start the next video at the end of that fight, and then we'll just see what happens there. But he said there's something new here. I have a feeling that probably on that Scott Cawthon fight, there's probably nothing new. Oh, look! There's that guy with the yellow eyes again. Okay. I knew there was... Okay, so he did mention the yellow eyes. If you guys remember in the Killer in Purple 2 trailer, he mentioned like yellow eyes. There was a guy with yellow eyes. And the email he sent me with info, exclusive info on Killer in Purple 2, he said like something at the end of it. Oh, no, I got Ian. Dang it, I got to go back in. He said at the end of it something about like beware the yellow eyes or something like that. So that definitely has to do with the new game. He added that in for sure. Okay, we, we got to go back into the pit again. We have to. I've got to see if there's anything else. So, okay, we can go into the, those hallways, but that's just like a death trap. Because you get stuck back there, it, it's game over. So we've got to figure out... Okay, okay, let's go back. Is it this way? Yeah, no, the ball pit's over here, actually. So we got to go back into the pit, and then we've got to try to go under to where that, that, that rusty door used to be. I want to see if there's anything there. Okay, through here. Go, go, go. All right, so we're going to go and teleport back into this world again, and we're just going to make sure we check everything. Okay, here we go. So we've got... He's coming from that way. Can I go into here? No. Can I go back into the pit again? No. Oh, my gosh. Look at this guy, dude. He's terrifying. Okay, run. Run, 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 run. I wish you could actually defeat him somehow. That'd be a cool Easter egg. Like, you can somehow, like, defeat him, and then you get some kind of secret or something like that. That'd be cool. All right, he's still following us. This is good. This is good. Actually, it's bad, but it's good at the same time. All right, we're going to go this way, and we're going to go under here. There's no way he can follow me under here, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so this is the QR code that we found before. So there's nothing new here. Okay, I had to make sure. We can't go into any of these now. So I think that's probably the secret. I, I want to try it. Oh, he's stuck. Wait, what? How do you get over there? Okay, I want to try this door. No, no, no. Oh, my God. He's coming. He's coming. Quick, dude. Run. All right. So we have one last thing to check, and then we're going to end the video. Okay. Okay. So we got to go down here. Okay. Yeah, that's blocked off. I do want to check the office, though, to see if there's anyone in there. Or Pirate Cove. Can we get in there? No, there's nothing. I think this, is, this has to be the secret. This guy right here who's watching us in the background, that's got to be what it is. Okay. I want to go down here, but he's really close to me. I'm going to try to loop him around the tables a few times. And then we're going to try to run down the office hallway. Okay, come this way. Oh, dude, he turned around. Dang it, he's too smart. Okay, this should be good. This should be good. I got to just make it... How close is he? Oh, no, dude, he's too smart. All right, dude, it's fine if I lose. It's fine. How do you beat this normally, though? I don't remember. Oh, no. Dude, you can't... Yeah, you can't escape him. You cannot escape Pit Bonnie, dude. There's no way. How do you beat him, though? I don't think you can, actually. I'm pretty sure. Okay, well, guys, I guess that's it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and make sure... Okay, so... He said, I'm sorry there's so many bugs. I rushed it a bit because Killer in Purple's code is a pain to work on. It's also, it's very laggy due to the messy code. Um, he made the project back in June, not thinking it would be popular, so the code was just messy and not planned. And they told me right here, the Pit Spring Money is also available by pressing Daco's icon, but if you're playing as Pit Spring Money, then Pit Spring Money won't show up in the pit, which is interesting. And they said, lastly, don't forget the, the rule of this update. Don't tap the window. So we've already done that. And they said, it was fun seeing you play the game again and, ex and be excited for more games. So I guess there might be more than just Killer in Purple 2. There could be maybe Park of Horror 2, which that's going to be super exciting. But all right, guys, in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to hop in for one finale. All right, the last of the last video, unless he does another update, which he said there is one coming, but I don't know if he's going to add anything new to that. But we're going to talk about the new game, go over the exclusive info that he sent me, you know, see what the aim's going to have in store for us, see what's going to be happening in it. And then we're going to try to do Pit Bonnie and have to lure all the children into one room, block the room, and see if we can somehow get the police to not attack us. And that's going to be it. All right. After that, we're done with this series. And we're going to go on to something new, which I already have some stuff lined up. There's some really good stuff lined up. And uh, you guys should definitely look forward to that. It's gonna be There's going to be some cool FNAF stuff coming. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.